Welcome to this segment. We're doing partner yoga. Joining me today is my partner, Annalise. So super invite you to find a partner before doing your partner yoga. We also have some demo assistants joining us today. We have Piper and we have Grace. And we're going to start with a really important concept in partner yoga or acro yoga, the concept of down. So we'll start with a base against the wall. So let's come over here. Okay, so our base is coming up against the wall. So in our acro yoga, we have bases, flyers, and spotters. Chair pose against the wall. Piper's going to be our first flyer. So a flyer comes up, stands close, stands up onto the legs. And if you need a spotter at home, your spotter is staying close and helping the flyer down if they need. And when it's time to go down, Annalise says the magic word. And we all get down. Okay, you got that? Let's do it one more time. So base against the wall. Strong chair pose. And really important, those thighs are flat. Grace is going to be our flyer. So the flyer comes in. However, they need to support to get up. And if we need a spotter, sometimes for this one, we don't need a spotter. Our spotter is close. Not out here. Nice and close. And when it's time to come down, so the base is down. I said down for the base and we come down, oh, right? And we high five our team, right? Really important to do high fives at the end of your poses. And that is the concept of down. Know that in your acro yoga and in your partner yoga, you can use the word down at any time. When someone says down, we all work together to come down, right? Perfect. Okay, so here we are. We're going to do some basic intro beginner acro yoga poses so you don't need to be an acrobat although we do have a few with us today um, our base today is going to be Annalise and we're going to start with a piece of etiquette for our acro yoga it's called the courtesy letdown so I'm going to demonstrate with that with her I bring her to the edge of the mat we come baby toe to baby toe I use the weight in my hips to lean away from her and I use counterbalance to let her down okay I'm going to be the spotter we're going to bring in a flyer Piper's going to be our flyer. Grace is going to be our flyer. Okay, so first step, we want to have flat feet on our base. See how the feet are not splayed? They're parallel. Let's come a little closer, Grace. The flyer's nice and close. She's staying straight. See that? And then what the base is doing, they're going to lower the flyer over their hips and then push up. And you see what I'm doing as the spotter? I have my hands here where I can sandwich her if I need to. And they might even be able to let go hands. So good. When it's time to come down, they take the hands. And one at a time, the flyer comes back to the ground. And they push off. Okay, let's do it one more time, Grace. So we come in. We set up the feet. She stays straight. The spotter helps them if they need. But I'm letting them do it. See, they got it. A little straighter, Grace. Make sure you stay straight. So it's like a cobra pose for the flyer. And then if they want to take the hands off, see how was a spotter I've come to the front? Good. And one foot down at a time, we help our base up. High fives. Good, and we're good. Hello there, I'm here with Annalise and we're gonna do a backbend acro yoga move. So a little more vulnerable of a pose, so nice to have a spotter for the first time and move slow and carefully. We're going to start with the courtesy letdown. Remember, bum away from bum, slow, soft. Good. Piper's going to be our flyer. So the flyer comes in and she stands by the head. And you're basically straddling the head. Let's move you back a little bit more, even. There. And the base is taking their legs into the upper middle back. The hands are at the ankles, and they're pushing them up. Bring her over your hips, Annalise. There. Over your hips more. Move your feet this way. Yeah. So you see how I was correcting her there? We want that stack. Your flyer might be a little heavier than Piper. You're going to need that stack. And Piper, you want to take your hands overhead. So that's for a bigger back bend with the arms. And as a spotter, I'm staying here. I'm being mindful that the flyer doesn't come this way. And then we're going to go for camel. So one at a time, she moves her feet. She grabs her own ankles. The base is moving to the knees, moving slowly. Let's do the other one. You guys got it. 
Good. So that's a deeper back bend. Give her a little more toe. So just be vulnerable with your flyer. You can communicate this way. My flyer looks like she's doing good. I'm seeing smiles. Make sure yours is the same. Back to the other pose. So one at a time, we let go. And the next one. Good. And then for the dismount, we bring the feet back to the ground. The flyer roots into the feet. The spotter helps. High five. And high fives. You're going to stay down there. We're going to do one more demo. Grace, you want to try? Okay, so let's start from the top again. Flyer comes in. Stands by the head, facing away. Come a little closer, Grace, so you're really close. Bring the feet to that middle back. This is where the spotter can help. And then the flyer lets herself go into the feet. Good. Take your feet up. Slow, controlled. Notice my spotting. I'm spotting from that chest. I'm mindful of the head. And I'm close because I love these folks and we're all taking care of each other. Camel, one foot at a time. We let go. The flyer grabs the ankle, yep, and grab that knee before moving to the next one. You guys got this, slow and controlled. This might not be for everybody. A little deeper back bend, give a little more toe. Good, back to the other one. One foot at a time. Take a breath together. And when it's time to come down, the flyer brings their hands forward, feet to the ground, and I'm supporting them. High fives, help up your base. And that's a nice backbend acro yoga move. <laughs> Thank you to our demo assistants. Don't forget to warm up and be safe. Watch out for cats, coffee tables, and be slow and safe on this one. Namaste. So here we are, we're doing a little acro yoga and always trying to stay safe. If you can work with threes, so you have a spotter. We're gonna play with a little more challenging pose we're going to do an inversion so always make sure to be spotting when you're doing inversions and if it's not your jam don't do it um, so starting with two friends that you're okay to touch we got Annalise as our base the courtesy letdown bums away from each other it's a soft letdown Piper's going to be our flyer or no I'm the base <laughs> sorry okay let me down that's okay. It's important to switch up the roles. Me and Piper have just been working on this one. This is our pose here. My spotter's over here, making sure that our flyer, who's going to invert, doesn't go too far over. So she's grabbing my ankles. She's coming up. She's coming into the splits or a straddle pike. You got it. And then she comes back to the feet, come back down, and we take the hands again. Perfect. So this is a pose. We'll do one more time, Piper, that we come from birdie. She grabs the ankles. Shoulder stand, we call this. I got the shoulders. She pushes up. She splits her pikes. You might not be able to do that much splits at home. That's okay. Bring the feet back. We come back up, and then one foot at a time, she comes all the way down. Boom. We help up our base. We give out high fives. Boom. Stay safe. Have fun. Remember, spotters, be on duty for this one.